In this lesson, we are going to look at building expressions with the Smart Field Composer, which is used to configure data values from functions and smart object methods in Smart Field enabled controls while designing workflows. Before getting into the steps, I will take the assumption in this lesson that you already have some basic K2 platform knowledge and experience building workflows using K2 Designer. For demonstration purposes, let's say we want to use a send email step to notify an employee that we've received a request for review and that their request will be reviewed and processed on a date set five days from the submittal of their form. It could be any kind of request, so I won't add any more complexity than that. To get this to work, the Smart Field Composer gives us the ability to use multiple functions together, one being the today function and the other being the add days function to display this date in the body of an email message. Basically, you can use the today function to get the current date at the time the workflow reaches the send email step then use the date value returned from the today function and pass it into the add days date function. So in this example, the add days function will return a date five days from the date passed into it that will then display on the body of the email message. I already have K2 Designer open on my screen with a send email step showing the configuration tab with the body smart field ready to configure. Now, when you nest inline functions together, there is an order you need to follow when dragging the functions from the context browser into the smart field. The first thing you must do is drag over the function that is going to give you the desired value you want to display. In this case, I'll start with the date and time function called add days because the output from that function is what I want to actually show in the message. I'll drag it over to the body of the message and enter a five into the days field. Then I'll need to provide the input date to add five days to for this function, which is going to be provided by using the today function. Remember, this function will give us the current date at the moment this workflow event runs and sends the email message. That function can also be found under the grouping called date and time. I'll scroll down and drag the today function over to the date and time input field of the function called add days. At this point, I don't want to go any deeper in the function nesting than this, but in some situations you may find that you have a need to add more functions to get the data that you require, quite often with the text-based functions. Essentially, to reiterate, the today function fires first, gets the current date, and then that date is output and passed into the function called add days. Add days will add, in this case, five days to today's date, and output that date value to the body text box of the send email step. Note, you can also rename these functions so they have more meaning for future developers or designers when they come in to support your application. Also keep in mind that you can use values from smart object fields as input to these functions, or you can hard code text if necessary. Now, moving forward, to add a little more context to this demonstration, I have gone ahead and added the today function in the subject line so that you can see the current date for reference. To finish this up, when this workflow runs, the result will appear in an email message in the following fashion. Notice that we have today's date on the subject line, but the date in the body of the message is five days after that date as a result of nesting or combining the today function with the add days date function. For more information on using the Smart Field Composer in an advanced setting with inline function nesting, please refer to help.k2.com.